What's going on, Helldivers? I'm Dadpool, and today we're going over the Democratic Demolition War Bond that just dropped into our acquisitions and all the contents inside. First up is a new victory pose, and the best one in my personal opinion, the squat. Looks like I'm holding it down for all my creakers out there. Next up we have the G-Tech 123 Thermite Grenade. Now this thing is pretty good. For my testing, it has taken two of these things to take down a Hulk. First armor set on our list is the CE Tech 27 Groundbreaker Helmet and Armor Set, which is the medium armor class with the Armor Passive Servo Assisted, which increases throwing range by 30% and provides 50% to limb health. First cape is the Harbinger of True Equality, which is a pretty awesome name for a cape. Also, it matches well with all the default black and yellow sets. First weapon on our list is the BR Tech 14 Adjudicator. This is a marksman rifle with two firing modes being semi automatic and automatic. Its capacity is kind of low, and from my testing, I wasn't too impressed as the damage output doesn't outweigh the capacity. Our second armor set is the CE Tech 07 Demolition Specialist Helmet and Armor, which is the light armor class with the Armor Passive Engineering Kit, which reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30% and increases the inventory of grenades by two. Our second cape is the Eagle's Fury. Again, these capes just have awesome blood pumping names. Our booster for the War Bond is the Expert Extraction Pilot, which lowers the time for extraction. If I'm not mistaken, I had a teammate with this equipped on Helldive difficulty and the extraction time was shaved off by 40 seconds. Our second victory pose is the Courtly Bow. Definitely deserves a standing elevation. Second weapon on our list is one of my personal favorites, which is under the new weapon type called Explosive. Now this thing is great. It can take out bot fabricators, buck holes, devastators with two hits. However, its capacity is very low. Now with this weapon, I treat it as if it were a special weapon and I utilize the Stalwart as my primary with a resupply pack equipped. Our last victory pose is the Boxer, which is pretty cool. And our last armor set is the FS Tech 55 Devastator Helm and Armor Set, which is of the heavy armor class with the armor passive fortified, which reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%, provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. This thing looks amazing. Best looking beefcake armor in my opinion. And last for our capes is the Freedom's Tapestry. Very nice color that matches with the default black and yellow. Third weapon on our list is the CB Tech 9 Exploding Crossbow. Now I'm still testing this weapon. It does feel like there could be something I'm missing as I was able to take down a Hulk with a couple of headshots at close range, but at a longer distance it seemed to do little to no damage. Also, its capacity is low, so for more to come for this one. Last weapon on our list is the GP Tech 3-1 Grenade Pistol, which is the first secondary weapon that can take out both bot fabricators and bug holes. Seriously. This thing shoots impact grenades. And that's going to do it for the Democratic Demolition War Bond. Overall, I'm very happy what was introduced in this War Bond, and I highly recommend purchasing this with your super credits to gain access to these amazing weapons. Real quick, let's head over to the ship modules, as there was also ship upgrades that were added to the module. First, under Patriotic Administration Center, we got our Superior Packing Mythology. This will allow resupply boxes to fully refill support weapons. Next, under Orbital Cannons, is the Atmospheric Monitoring with the upgrade to the 380 and 120 Barrages, which reduces their spread by 15%. Then under Hangar, we have the XXL Weapons Bay, which increases the max number of bombs dropped by one to Eagle Stratagems. Under Bridge, we have the Enhanced Combustion, which increases the fire damage from Fire Stratagems by 25%. This is low-key insane with the recently buffed by 50% to fire damage from all sources. Under Engineering Bay, we've got the Circuit Expansion, which increases the lightning jumps from weapons and turrets by one. And lastly, under Robotics Workshop, we've got the Blast Absorption, which decreases the damage sentries take from explosions by 50%. 
All these upgrades are available for 150 common and rare samples, 20 super samples, and 25,000 requisition slips. Hope you guys are having or will have fun with this recent warp on and update. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing as it helps the small channel grow. Thanks again and take care, everybody.